Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound, and today you're looking at me in the future home of the Cinema Sound Studio B. We just moved to Tennessee, and uh, this is just one of the rooms here in this house. Uh, it's kind of everything's wrong with it for sound. We've got a tile floor, bad acoustic ceiling, parallel walls. You can hear the ring in here, and we're going to be treating this over the next few months and turning it into the new listening environment for Cinema Sound. Uh, but today I want to be talking to you and showing you about an open box from Mac Group and Ceremonic's new offering, the home base system, which I think is really, really interesting. I'm really excited. Just got it. I want to show you what's in this box here. I mean, I've obviously opened the shipping box, but this is um, what it is. So let's get rolling. So the first thing I notice is I already have one of these is the Ceremonic Boom Pole, which is one of my favorite boom poles. I've had a few uh over the years and i just dropped this little thing out of here and then this just came out of here things falling off all over the place uh this actually goes on the adapter this is a rubber piece but it comes with the normal microphone uh stand adapter that also goes to the boom pole adapter where you can put this on here which is where it should go so you don't lose it but one of the things i like about the ceremonic is it's got five segments and you can actually tighten these down you know a lot of boom poles you know, they, they, you know, they'll come out easily, but for you to actually tighten them down, it becomes very difficult because they all kind of counter rotate. But here with the ceremonic, I've, I've always appreciated that you can tighten it down. And of course, it's, it goes out very, very far, which is cool. I love this boom pole. And then we have the pocket pod table tripod. Let's take a look at this thing. I mean, obviously this is for your phone, it has a little phone icon on it, but, uh, let's see what this is all about. Pull this out here. Some hardware, the silicon packs. Awesome. This is obviously the piece that goes with your phone. And a little twist tie here. See what the deal is. Oh, yeah, this is super cool. And this is from uh, Benro, which is a part of the Mac group. And you just put your camera or your phone. This would be the phone adapter. How cool is this thing? Just set it on anything. Looks like this will go on here like so. Let's see here. Awesome. And then you can put it sideways. And with this, this sort of always reminds me of the thing that like is in Superman Returns, the world builder. Um, and then you could be this. And then attach this to your phone and uh, you're good to go on the horizontal. And obviously you can tighten this down so that if you wanted to go the other way, you can. And that's super cool. Yeah, it just locks really easily. You don't have to turn it very far, just a little bit and you're good to go. That's awesome. And then you have the uh, MPOW uh, headphone wired computer set. Let's see what these are like. You know, I love the Cinema Sound headphones and I love the AKG the ones you can see, the Lyra uh, sets that come there. I love uh, those uh, K3, I think they're the K371s. Oops. This comes from a microphone. But this is more than just a headset because it has a built-in microphone, which we love when we're doing online things. And there is a remote, a USB remote that just fell out. It has a mute button, a speaker button, so you can turn all kinds of things off and on with this functionality. I'll have to actually read up on all that it does, but it looks like it's a remote that plugs in via USB and then controls, if you have the software for it, your headphones here. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. There's the microphone. And it comes with this, I already palmed this windscreen that fell out. You know, windscreens are super important, um, especially when things are coming uh, close to your mouth because of things like plosives and things like that. You know, I've got a lab on right now. And if I go plosives, plosives, it gets really hard to hear. And this has a windscreen on. So we want to be careful about that um, and have the windscreen on. I mean, unless you're not going to have it close to your mic. I mean, close to your mouth. This is a nice, uh, reasonable size cable. So it should fit us. Cool. Nice over ear. Let's see here what's going on. Oh, I see. It's kind of a super, very, very flexible, very delicate kind of device, this microphone. 
and we'll have to test it and see how it feels, see how it's how it's responsive, how responsive it is, I should say. And then this has oh, I see. This fits into this that fits into this. That's super cool. So the mic, so it's actually a USB device. Maybe I should read the manual. Ah, manuals. So this actually goes in here, and then this goes in your computer, and then you have all kinds of ability to mute. This looks like just volume. How dope is this? Super dope. Now this I actually know all about, the V-Mic Mini. We've, gotten review we've done reviews of this on Cinema Sound. This is actually new packaging, which we haven't seen in the past, but it has this awesome uh, box, which we love, the magnetic. There we go. Oh, my warranty stuff coming out. Uh, this is one of their best sounding microphones. I believe this is their version three. It's a cardioid condenser, a uh, single diaphragm. It picks up a really nice wide array of sound, wide angles. Uh, it's not for like doing shotgun microphone, but it's for picking up kind of everything. And you would use this, plug it right into the back of this, uh, your camera or whatever it has the cold shoe mount on it. You could use this for podcasts or whatever. And one of the great things about Ceremonic is they always come with the cables that you need. That's a TRS mini. And then this is the same with uh, a right angle, I believe. Yes, right angle, I believe. And another one of the great things about Ceremonic is these windscreens they make, they're unbelievable. They're so good at rejecting wind without mashing the sound. Some of the best windscreens I've heard anywhere, believe it or not, for this incredibly low price. So that's this V-Mic Mini. I love it. We have uh, we have several here. So now we have another one. This is the next thing. Stuff that keeps coming out of this box. This is actually a bag. I'm sure it's hard to hear me over this plastic. That you can put all of your accoutrement in. Let's take off the twist tie here. And look at this cool bag. I mean, this is just a nice bag to have for anything. And we'll open it here. It says Shh, whisper hook, pull flap down, then away from bag to reduce sound. How cool is that? Nice. You can see in here, this got the shoulder. Uh, looks like it has, see in here, just open this up so you can see other than that Velcro flap that's there. You can see some places for compartments of all kinds, very flexible, putting anything in here that you need, like your recorder, camera, but uh, batteries, etc. And then of course a pouch here for like a MacBook Air um, from our friends at Tenda. How cool is this? And then lots of slots and things, microphones, transmitters, Storage on the sides, both sides. Storage in the lid, no. No storage in the lid, but then a nice, oh, here's where your laptop, another laptop could go here. You can't possibly see, Velcroed. I mean, you could take this as a carry-on on a plane really, really easily. This is super nice, and it would definitely take care of anything that you would need uh, while you were shooting uh, One Man Bandy. And it obviously, what does this mean? Well, there's something here about this whisper hook. I'm not 100% sure what it means. Although I will say that this is super cool. This opens up and you actually have access to the inside. Um, they've made this zipper so that while the Velcro is closed, you still have access to being inside the bag. So you don't make this kind of noise. You can just just quietly zip this and get inside if you need to instead of that. But you have the Velcro if you need it. Very, very nice bag. And last but not least is this 5x7 backdrop travel kit. Now let's have some fun with this. I probably should have set this up so I can use this instead of this backdrop that I have here. But ultimately I'm going to have to treat with some sound. A lot of sound panels. Let's see here. How easy is this to open? Do I need tools? No. Nice handle. Here you are. Okay, there's some instructions in here. We'll just drop this here. Another beautiful bag from our friends at Savage. Some clamp hooks. And I'm being careful not to drop this. Normally, I would do this on the table. Would not be doing this this way otherwise. Okay, so this is the 
got to be the green screen. I'll set this here for now. And then here is the setup. And that's all that's in this bag. Pull this out of its container. Lovely. Look at this. You kind of already know how this is supposed to work. A nice little tripod here where we'll lock this down so it doesn't come up on us. And of course, you have extendable legs if you want, which is really nice. Let's see how big this will go. We might just set it up in here while we're while you wait. <laughs> All right, let's get this little girl out. Let's see how this goes while we're coming out of this. Nice, another nice bag. Looks like it's gray on one side. It's gray in general. So it looks like there's a green screen in there, but it doesn't have it. So we just have a nice gray backdrop like so. And it has some grommets on it. And if I iron this, you know, it would be nice. But uh, if you had a green screen, this would be very nice. And it, with these three grommets, you probably can't see them. They're just out of frame. There's two down here and there's three up there. And it, you know, give it a little steam. And, you know, you're ready to go with a nice, easy gray background or a green screen. Let me just see what's in this box. I see you can see here on the box which colors included, white, black, green, or gray. So this one is the one that had gray. Um, it also has a sandbag hook on the back. So that, uh, you know, it's this is a little flimsy. It actually stands fine by itself, but I certainly wouldn't put this in wind in any way. It'll just sail off the wind from the Department of the Redundancy Department. So, uh, but this is what's in that box. I mean, imagine if you had to do interviews at home, you'd have a camera mount, a little um, tripod, you've got a microphone, you've got a nice backdrop, and uh, not to mention a nice bag that you can put things in. It's really a nice little kit to get you up and running as long as you already have a camera, which could easily be your phone with that tripod that we have, or a real camera, a real camera. Uh, and you can just stick your microphone on there and you're great to go. Hopefully this has been valuable to you. And uh, so it's been a while since I've done a video for you all. I've been moving and now that I've landed here in Tennessee, you can expect more media from us. Um, and uh, this is uh, one of hundreds of videos as you can see here on the YouTube channel uh, that we have to help you get that unfair Hollywood competitive advantage that they have as sound in your productions. And then come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have thousands of articles and videos and products that we would just love to get into your hands to help you with your productions and get that powerful, immersive element into your productions that's so often missing uh, when we try to do something without mentorship or without a real understanding of how sound works for picture. I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at Cinema Sound. Until then, we'll see you in the studio. Where you're stuck.